One of the questions that comes up quite frequently in chemistry is how do we find valence electrons for transition metals? So in this video, we'll talk about how to find the valence electrons for the transition metals. These are also called D block elements. So the periodic table, when we look at the periodic table, the main group elements, it's pretty easy to figure out the valence electrons. Group one here, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, they all have two valence electrons. We skip the transition metals. They're a little more complicated. That's what we're going to talk about today. But for the rest of these main block elements, groups 13 through 18, we have three through eight valence electrons in each of these groups here. So main block elements, pretty easy. Transition metals, a little more work. One of the reasons it's a little more complicated is that transition metals, they have incomplete D orbitals, or their cations have an incomplete D subshell. So they don't follow this regular pattern that we see with main group elements. So let's do an example. Let's look at iron, find the valence electrons for iron. The best way to do this is to look at the electron configuration for iron. If you need help finding electron configurations, there are links in the description. But let's look at the electron configuration for iron. So this is the electron configuration for iron. If we add up all of these electrons, we'll get 26. So we have iron. And we can write this in a condensed notation. We can find the noble gas before iron. Iron's 26, so it would be argon. And argon, we can put brackets around the electron configuration for argon here, and then just write AR in brackets. So that would look like this. This is the condensed notation for iron. To find the valence electrons for iron, we're looking for the electrons outside of the noble gas core. This is our noble gas core. So we have these electrons right here, 3d6 and 4s2. Add these up, 6 plus 2. Iron has eight valence electrons. So we wrote the electron configuration, we put it in condensed notation, and then we looked at the electrons outside the noble gas core here to find that iron has eight valence electrons. So here's one, give this a try. Remember that manganese has 25 electrons. We've distributed them here in the configuration. And argon has 18. That'll help you write the condensed notation. So find the number of valence electrons for manganese. So we want to write the condensed notation. And 25 is manganese. So argon, that is going to be the noble gas. We'll put as our core. It has 18. So 2, 4, 6. There's 10 plus 2 and 6. This is the noble gas core, 18, like argon has here. So we'll write AR. And then outside of the noble gas core, we count up the valence electrons, 5 plus 2. So manganese has 7 valence electrons. That doesn't mean that manganese is going to use all of these valence electrons when it forms chemical bonds. Typically, manganese will use either 2 to be Mn2+, plus, or it'll lose 4 to become Mn2. Four plus. So it doesn't necessarily use all of the valence electrons, but it does have 5 plus 2, 7 valence electrons. Let's look at another one. Find the number of valence electrons for cobalt, CO. So we have our electron configuration. We know that 27, so argon again will be our noble gas core, and argon has 18 electrons. So we end up with our condensed notation here, we have our noble gas core. Outside of that, our valence electrons, 7 plus 2. That'll give us 9. And again, cobalt won't necessarily use all of these valence electrons to bond. So pause and give this one a try. Find the number of valence electrons for Zr, zirconium. Here's the electron configuration. So the atomic number for zirconium is 40. That means it's after Kr, so it would come after Kr. So our core is going to be Kr, and that has 36 electrons. So this is the noble gas core, and then we could just write Kr in place of all of that. The valence electrons right here, 2 plus 2, that gives us 4 valence electrons for zirconium. And the number of these electrons, these valence electrons that it uses, will depend on what it bonds to. So to find the valence electrons for the transition metals, these D block elements, really the most effective way is to write the electron configuration and then look at that noble gas core. The electrons outside of that noble gas core, those will be your valence electrons. 
Do understand though that not all of these electrons necessarily are going to be involved in bonding when chemical bonds form. It really depends on what the element is bonding to. If you need more help writing electron configurations, there are links in the description for this video to help you. This is Dr. B looking at valence electrons for transition metals. Thanks for watching.